what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and today i have a question from alternating currents so let's go through the question very quickly so there is a network as given in the figure a resistance a capacitor an inductor three alternating voltage sources 1 2 and 3 terminal voltage of the sources 1 2 and 3 are given here okay so these are the phases respectively and moduli of the reactances of the capacitor inductor are equal okay very good so according to the question xc will be equals to xr these are the reactances capacitive and inductive is equal to r okay and uh, the values given here makes it a three phase circuit um, you can search on the search in google that what is a three phase motor or a three phase circuit looks like I mean what is the principle behind it so we need to find out the potential at point P so let me redraw the diagram once again yes sir yes sir mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here capacitor and here will be an inductor L okay so R XC XL so let us consider the potential at this point b zero then potential here at any instant will be v1 here it will be v2 here it will be v3 and let the potential at p be x okay so actually in alternating circuits you can represent potentials in vector form also i hope you know that okay and you can write reactances the, sorry the impedance of a circuit in complex form like a plus i b where a consists of the resistance part and b consists of the uh, reactance part okay so to find out x uh, you, i i am using here junction rule so it is sum of x minus so we can write here x vector also so x minus v1 vector divided by r plus x minus v2 vector divided by minus j x c where j is nothing but uh, root over minus 1 okay plus x vector minus v3 divided by j x l will be equals to 0 so x vector now we know that r x c and x l all are same so x vector is 1 plus j minus j and uh, you will be getting equals to v1 vector minus j v2 plus j v3 okay so finally x vector becomes v1 vector minus j v2 vector plus j v3 vector now as you know the v2 vector was given as if you check the question once again v2 vector is v sin omega t plus 120 degree v sin omega t plus 120 degrees and multiplying it with the minus j tells you to decrease the i'm sorry i think i made a mistake here this one will be plus and this will be minus this will be minus okay yes uh, now presence of j here the presence of j here tells you to basically increase the phase angle by 90 degree i hope you know that because we use the complex form just to show that the inductors and the capacitors are used to change the phase of the current phase difference between the current and the voltage by 90 degrees okay so to represent that we use the complex format so you can just absorb this j in v2 and you can write v1 as it is that is v sin omega t j times v2 will just be v sin omega t 
plus 120 with an additional 90 degrees and minus j will just decrease the phase by 90 degree so it will be v sin omega t plus 210 minus 90 degrees okay so 120 plus 90 makes it 210 and this is 150 150 i guess sorry it was 240 240 okay so basically our final i mean the potential at p is nothing but the vector sum of these three things so let's do the vector diagram very quickly or the phasor diagram more accurately so considering this one as the base base phase so direction of v will be here somewhere and this is v sin omega t plus 210 so if this is v sin omega t then 210 will be somewhere here okay this angle will be 30 and uh, this will be 150 degrees so 180 minus 30 okay this one will also be 30 degree so resultant of these three vectors will be along this direction because the sine components gets cancelled out so v net okay is 2 times v cos 30 minus v that is root 3 minus 1 into v so this will be the uh, amplitude of the voltage at p okay and as the resultant let me draw this with another color and as the resultant is in this direction so the phase will be here it was the omega t as it was the base phase plus 180 degree so voltage at p will be equal to this will be the amplitude that is root 3 minus 1 times v sin omega t plus 180 degree okay so this was a very simple question but for solving this i used few concepts of complex numbers uh, i hope you have studied that in your previous classes earlier if not then i would suggest you to follow some good books where you can study all this i hope you found this video helpful and informative thank you